Dogs and royals have a very long joint history. Whether hounds have been appearing in ceremonies, guarding their imperial owners, going on hunts, or snuggling in the royal lap, they've been a strong part of royal life all the world over for centuries. In this video, we have listed 10 dog breeds that were historically kept as royal dogs. Number 10, Akita. The Akita Inu breed originated in Japan, and these big dogs with proud temperaments are known to have been favorites with the Japanese imperial elite over several centuries. In the Edo period of the 17th and 18th centuries, Akitas were only allowed to be owned by shoguns for the purpose of hunting bears and other large game. The Emperor Taisho was photographed with his own Akitas in 1899, and the breed was declared of national importance and became available for everybody in the early 20th century. Number 9. Pembroke Welsh Corgi A breed well known and much loved by the Queen of England, who has maintained a breeding program for many years, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi traces its origin back to the 1100s. A friendly and active dog, the Pembroke was brought to England by Flemish and kept in the home of Henry I. Though the breed shares its background and many of its traits with the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, the Pembroke is actually a much younger breed than the Cardigan. Number 8. Greyhound One of the most ancient breeds known to man, the history of the Greyhound can be traced to nearly every country around the globe. While aristocracy has always surrounded the breed, in its early development only royalty bred them, England played an important role in the development of the breed with first illustrations of the Greyhound there dating back to the 9th century. A sight hound used to hunt a variety of game, including deer, stags, foxes, and hares. Greyhounds also have been used as racing dogs since the 18th century. A lively, gentle breed, the breed's most valued trait today is its companionship. Number 7. Shih Tzu Though the exact date of origin of the Shih Tzu is unknown, Evidence of its existence has appeared in documents, paintings, and art from the Tang Dynasty. Bred in the city of Peking by Chinese court, the Shih Tzu is also said to be the oldest and smallest of the Tibetan holy dogs. The breed was also the preferred house pet of the Ming Dynasty and the Dowager Empress Sishi. A small, playful dog, the Shih Tzu's long, luxurious coat requires regular grooming. Number 6. Great Pyrenees Known as Le Grand Chien de Montagnes, the Big Dog of the Mountains, or the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, the Great Pyrenees was adopted as a French court dog in the 17th century. Known as both a royal breed and a working associate of peasant shepherds on the slopes of the Pyrenees Mountains, the breed is exceptionally loyal and gentle and is said to be fearless as a guardian of its people and flock. Number 5. Pekingese an ancient Chinese breed that was owned exclusively by royalty. The penalty for stealing a Pekingese was death. The Pekingese has appeared in Chinese art and history throughout the ages, beginning with the Tang Dynasty of the 8th century. Originally named after the ancient city of Peking, the Pekingese came to Europe as a result of war. When the British overtook the Chinese imperial palace in 1860, they returned home with several of the dogs. Happy, lovable, and loyal, the Pekingese makes a wonderful lap dog. Number four, Coton de Tulliar. A small, friendly dog that thrives on human companionship, the Coton de Tulliar is known as the royal dog of Madagascar. The breed originated there in the 17th century and was kept exclusively by noblemen known as the Marina, the ruling monarchy in Madagascar. The Coton de Tulliar is a loving and happy companion but does require regular grooming to maintain its soft, dense coat. Number three, Pug. An ancient breed dating back as far as 400 BC, the Pug is thought to have originated in China. The Dutch East India Company brought these dogs to Holland in the 1500s, where they became popular during the reign of William, Prince of Orange. A Pug purportedly saved his life in 1572 by alerting him of an assassination attempt which led to the snub-nosed little pug becoming the official dog of the House of Orange. 
100 years later, they were brought to Britain when William II ascended the throne in England and became popular with the royalty and nobility of the era. Number two, Bijan Frise. In the 1300s, the fluffy white Bijan Frise was discovered on the island of Tenerife by Italian sailors who brought the little dogs back home. They became a favorite of Italian royalty and later also rose to popularity in France. King Henry III loved his Bichon Frise so much that he had a special basket made for his pet, which he carried around with him at all times. These cute little canines were also popular with Spanish royalty, and many are depicted in paintings of Goya, the 18th century court artist. Number one, Saluki. Known as the Royal Dog of Egypt, the Saluki is one of the oldest living dog breeds with carvings of the dogs appearing in Sumerian tombs from as far back as 7,000 BC. These stunning hunting dogs were highly regarded by ancient Egyptian royalty for their grace, beauty, stamina, and speed. So much so that engravings depicting the breed have been found in tombs dating back over 2,000 years. And some were even mummified with their masters, which was considered a great honor. The most famous of all Egyptian rulers, Tutankhamun, has been portrayed in many images, hunting with his beloved Salukis. So if you ever have to ingratiate yourself with the royal somewhere, maybe just start talking about dogs. They've had a long history together. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.